Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Free basketball coming up on this report. We'll get to that. Thanks for those of you who jumped on board yesterday. Started out with a four-star loss in soccer. We had Luton Town. They gave up a late goal. They finished in a draw. And I play three-way betting in soccer in case you haven't jumped on board. And uh, that means we end up losing because they, they played to a draw. And then we come right back, though, with a six-star and a five-star high-end sweep in the NBA and the NHL. Uh, we had the Rangers to win in regulation, minus about $1.10, a little bit less than that. They end up getting the win 3-1 to one over Jersey. And then uh, we had in the NBA a six-star win. Uh, so it was a real nice night. We end up sweeping the high-end plays. We're going to look to do it again on Wednesday. The star of the show for me on Wednesday is a five-star play in the NBA, five-star side. Uh, these plays, these high-end plays in NBA that are five stars and higher, going back to day one this season, all the way back in October, were 42 and 24. That's 64% against the spread. All rated plays in the NBA since late October, 81 and 50, up over $12,300 one. So if you want to jump on board, five star goes on Wednesday in the NBA. Uh, I do have a soccer play in the afternoon. We've had a great 2022 campaign, but we got to turn it around because I've lost the last few in a row with that draw yesterday with Luton Town. I've also got NHL after last night's five star winner. And on this particular card on Wednesday, it's a slap shot side in the NHL. Those plays on a 43 and 25 winning run. And a real quick note about baseball. I do have my futures or my wins totals plays posted on my homepage at Doc Sports. If you want to jump on board with those, I've got an eight star and a three star. I've only had one eight star Major League Baseball win wins total since I've been at Docs four years ago. We cashed that two years ago with the Padres. Easy winner on that one going over. So an eight star and a three star available as far as wins totals are concerned. And then of course, baseball kicks off tomorrow on Thursday. Uh, plus 3,300 last year in the first half of the season. I love the first few months of the season. A lot of guys like to wait before they get involved. I get involved right from the get go. And my seven star plays in baseball are on a 57 and 31 run with our last 88. So if you wanna jump on board, do it right out of the blocks in Major League Baseball. We don't uh, pussyfoot around, so to speak, when it comes to Major League Baseball betting, even early in the season. Let's get to the free play for Wednesday, and that is the battle between the Suns and the Clippers, and I'm going to recommend to play on the Clips. Right now, they're getting three as I cut this video around 2.30 a.m. Eastern time on Wednesday morning. I, I feel bad for Suns backers. If you had the Suns last night, you were covering that double-digit spread in the fourth quarter. They were kind of coasting. Well, then they really started coasting. They ended up winning the game by 11, laying, for the most part, 12 or higher throughout the course of the day. But this team's got nowhere to go. They've got the best record in the NBA. Their position's wrapped up. And I think you're going to see a little bit more coasting today, second to back-to-back, -to -back, than you did even last night. As far as the Clippers, they have nothing to gain either or to lose in the playoff standings where they sit. They're going to be involved in the play-in game. But I think they really got to keep developing that chemistry on offense since they had so many injuries throughout the course of the season. They're actually just an overtime loss at Chicago away from a four-game winning streak. The offense has looked good of late, and I think they continue to play with a high caliber on the offensive end. I think, again, Phoenix going to coast a little bit in this game, and I like the Clippers plus the points of this one. I also like going against these elite level teams, these teams that have won a ton of games, you know, way over 500 uh, this juncture of the season when they're laying less than a couple of buckets. In this case, it's three, and I do like uh, the, Clipper, the, uh, the Clippers in this one plus the points. You know, it almost looks too good to be true uh, to jump on the Phoenix Suns laying two and a half to three in this particular spot. That's when I like to go against these top-level teams. So, recommendation on the Clippers. Don't forget the star of the show for me on a Wednesday, that five-star in the NBA. We'll look to extend that run to 43 and 24. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. When I talk to you next, an early Thursday morning play, we'll be talking Major League Baseball. I'm glad it's here. Looking forward to another great season. Let's put them in the win column, everybody.